Hey there. Well, I feel that I judged Stephen Crowder far too harshly. I'm not saying that I think he's great, but I don't think he's really that bad either, especially when you compare him to someone like Caitlin Bennett. Caitlin Bennett is not interested in debates at all. She just wants to agitate people and record their responses when she's offended people. That, that's her main shtick, is to offend people. Try to get a horrible reaction. And, and you know, what, she certainly more recently got everything she wanted in, in getting all these college kids to treat her really poorly. So it seems to be kind of what she lives for. She enjoys the attention. She wants the attention. Steven Crowder... You know, he, he'll put up, he'll go to college campuses. I don't know whether he goes to a number of other places, but he certainly goes to college campuses, sets up a little stand with a table and this sign that says, you know, whatever the subject is, uh, change my mind, right? And he does other debates with people as well. I've seen some of his debates uh, when he's in his studio. And, uh, you know, I may not agree with him, very often, every so often I do. I may not agree with him very often, but um, he does really seem to want to debate, and he does really seem to try to consider the points that people are making. And he seems like someone whom his mind could be changed if someone brought up a good enough uh, retort, you know? Stephen Crowder is someone that I think I could probably hang out with at a bar and have a good time. Um, now, some of my issues with him is that he punches down a lot. His, his humor, a lot of his humor is punching down. And, you know, I, I have my fair share of punching down. I don't do it very often on, on YouTube, but I, I, in real life, I can, I can have my own bit of punching down. Um, I think he's a bit xenophobic, just a little bit, a little bit racist, a little bit homophobic, a little bit sexist towards women. But everyone has a certain amount of those things within them. His is a little more pronounced than, than some people, but uh, yeah, I, I, I just feel I judged him far too harshly. I, I made him out to be like some horrible person, and I don't really think he is. Um... Do I think his channel should have been demonetized? Well, if we're judge if if we're judging whether a channel should be monetized based off of the terms of service and the code of conduct that YouTube pushes forth, yeah, they probably should have demonetized him. Um I think Having said that, I think that they go a little bit too far sometimes in what they demonetize videos or ch whole channels over. Um, I feel his attacks on Carlos Maza were kind of uncalled for, but it's part of his punching down style. So, it, when you actually watch the full videos that he happened to be uh, punching down, uh, criticizing Carlos Maza. If you watch the whole videos, though, he did try to counter the actual arguments. Yeah, he had insults, but he did try to counter actual uh, arguments. He, uh... So, I don't know. I just feel that uh, my last video I made about Car uh, about uh, Steven Crowder, I think, uh, I think I was in the wrong.